Hi, and welcome to our instructional video on video poker. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons. If you want to know more about me or my book, just go to my website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. As a gambling author, I spend a lot of time in casinos, and my favorite game to play is video poker. It's really a good game for all levels of players, and in this video I'm going to show you how video poker machines work and how you can win on them. First of all, let me ask you this. Do you know the main difference between a video poker machine and a slot machine? Well, if you said a slot machine is a game of luck and video poker is a game of skill, then you are correct. When you play a slot machine, you put in your money and pull the handle, or push that spin button, and you hope that you're lucky enough to get a winning combination. In video poker, however, it is your skill in playing the cards that affects the outcome of the game. Now, besides the skill factor, there is one other big difference between video poker and slot machines that I should mention, and that is you never know what percentage a slot machine is set to pay back to the public, but you can always calculate a video poker machine's payback percentage just by looking at its pay table. This is very important because it allows you to go into a casino and easily tell which video poker machines are programmed to pay back the most money. So those are the two main differences between slots and video poker, and I'll return to those differences shortly. But first, let me give you a brief rundown on the basics of how to play. Video poker is similar to playing a game of five card poker. The only difference is that you have no opponent to beat, and you can't lose more than your initial bet. First, you deposit from one to five coins in the machine to make your bet. You are then shown five cards on the video screen, and your goal is to try to make the best poker hand possible from those cards. Since it is a draw game, you are given one opportunity to improve your hand. This is done by allowing you to discard from one up to all five cards from your original hand. Of course, you don't have to discard any if you don't want to, but usually you'll want to replace some cards to improve your hand. After choosing which cards you want to keep, you then push the draw button and the machine will replace all of your discards with new cards. Based on the resulting final hand, the machine will then pay you according to the pay schedule posted on the machine. Naturally, the better your hand, the higher the amount the machine will pay you back. So those are the basics of how to play video poker. But now let's go back and talk about those two big differences between slots and video poker and how you can use that information to help you become a long-term winner at video poker. If you've seen my How to Win Slots video on YouTube where I explain how slot machines work, you know that slot machine manufacturers have a lot of flexibility when it comes to programming their machines. If they want a machine to pay back less money to the players, they simply program in more losing combinations. And if they want a slot to pay back more money, they just program in more winning combinations. The problem for you as a player is that when you walk up to a slot machine, you have no idea what it's programmed to pay back. Fortunately, when you play video poker, you won't have that problem. You see, with video poker machines, the manufacturers can't increase or decrease the number of winning and losing combinations they program into the machines. And the reason they can't do that is because the number of winning and losing combinations are all based on a 52-card deck, and therefore, the number of those combinations are identical on all video poker machines. Of course, I'm not including games with jokers here, but any video poker game played with a 52-card deck has exactly 2,598,960 unique five-card poker hands possible, and every time you push the deal button, you will be dealt one of those hands. Now you may be wondering, if the manufacturers can't manipulate the winning and losing combinations, then how can they change the payback percentages to make the machines pay out less or more? Well, the answer is they do that by simply paying you less when you get a winning hand. To get a better understanding of this, let's take a look at a 9-6 Jacks or Better machine. On this machine, the Jacks or Better part refers to the fact that you won't win anything unless you have at least a pair of Jacks, and the 9-6 part refers to the payback schedule. Nine coins for a full house, and six coins for a flush. This is one of the best games you can find in a casino. It is known as a full pay machine, and the expected return on this machine when you play the maximum five coins and use perfect strategy is 99.54%. Now, when a casino wants to make more money on their video poker machines, they will offer a lower pay table, and that change is almost always made in the payoffs for the full house and the flush. 
For instance, on one machine, you may only get paid eight coins for a full house, while another may only pay seven, and another just six. On the flush payoff, the only change is that they are usually reduced from six to five. Every time one of these payoffs is reduced by one coin, the effect is that the payback percentage is reduced by about 1.1%. So, if you had a 7-5 Jacks or Better machine that returned 7 coins for a full house and 5 coins for a flush, the expected return on that machine would be 96.15% rather than the 99.54% on a 9-6 Jacks or Better machine. As you can see, it, it's always a good idea to look at the pay table of a video poker machine to make sure you're playing the game offering the highest return. Many times, casinos will scatter higher paying and lower paying machines throughout the casino, and it's up to you to spot the better ones. You need to be careful, however, that you are comparing the pay table on the same type of machine. You can't compare a Jacks or Better machine to a bonus game or double bonus or double double bonus or deuces wild. If you like to play Jacks or Better, then just take a few minutes to walk through the casino and look at the pay tables on all of the Jacks or Better machines. You'll probably find some variations on the full house and flush payoffs. Just be sure to play on the machine where the payoffs are the highest for those hands. Remember that the probability of getting a full house in all of those jacks or better machines is the exact same. So why would you want to settle for seven coins for a full house when another machine in the same casino may offer you eight or nine? Actually, every video poker machine's payback percentage can be mathematically calculated, but it's impossible to do that on your own. You can buy a software program to do it, but it'll cost you anywhere from $30 to $50. Another option is just go to our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com and visit our video poker section. In that area, you'll see an article called Video Poker Pay Tables. Just click on that and it will bring up a list of the most common pay tables along with a notation of the payback percentage for that particular pay table. Now that you know how to find the best machines to play, you'll need some help with the strategy. It turns out that video poker is similar to blackjack in the sense that there is a basic strategy and there is always one best way to play your hand in any given situation. And how is that strategy determined? Well, of course it's done with computers. There are 32 different ways any five card poker hand can be played and the computer will analyze all 32 of those plays to come up with an expected value for each play. This expected value, which is referred to as EV by knowledgeable video poker players, is the key to making your decisions. And the play that delivers the highest EV is how you should always play your hand. Let's say you're on a 9-6 jacks or better machine and you're dealt the following hand, which includes a pair of tens and four hearts. Should you keep the tens or go for the flush? Well, if you look at the computer analysis of this hand, You'll see that if you keep the pair of 10s, the EV of that play is a little better than 4.1 coins. But if you keep the 4-card flush, the EV is much higher at more than 5.7 coins. So the correct answer is that you should keep the 4-card flush because that expected value is the highest. As you see, just like a machine's payback percentage can be calculated, so can the correct strategy for playing any particular hand. But, once again, you will need to buy a software program costing up to $50. However, there are also strategy charts you can buy that will show you how to play your hands properly, and those cost around $5. Keep in mind that the strategy will change slightly whenever the pay table is changed, so you need to make sure you are using the proper strategy for each particular pay table. If you want to get some video poker strategy charts for free, you can do that on our website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. Just go to the Video Poker section and click on the article titled Free Video Poker Strategy Charts. You can then print out any of those charts and bring them with you to the casino. One last thing I wanted to mention about video poker is that unlike slot machines, you can actually find machines that are set to return more than 100%. And how, you may ask, can a casino offer a game with an expected return of more than 100%? Wouldn't they lose money on that machine? Well, yes, they would lose money if everyone who played that machine knew the right strategy but 99.9% .9 of the people who play that game don't know how to play it properly, so they won't even come close to achieving that 100% return. Therefore, the casino can still make money on that game. So, there you have it. Hopefully, I've answered most of your questions about video poker, and the next time you visit a casino, you'll be able to easily choose the best paying machines and use the proper strategy. Thanks for watching, and best wishes for good luck on your next visit to the casino.